Well, hello there, you sexy creatures. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome back to Atomic Heart. So as you can see, there's a lot of shit going on in this little room, okay? So now we gotta get to these little thing with jiggers down there. Boom! It's a new upgrade I just did to my weapon. I know, freaking sweet. And, um, yeah, so now we're going to have to go and energize all of these to speed up the process so I can get to that bad boy right down. Meow. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so let's just jump right back in, get this canister filled up, and go on about our merry way. We gotta be careful. It's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. Canister will be filled in 20 days. It worked. Look at that pool glow. It's actually kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. No one foresaw this particular turn of events. It was a rhetorical question, Chuck. Guns blazing isn't always the best approach, Major. Sure, sometimes you can try upgrading your gear or find another way to keep the bots at bay.
just need to speed up the last motor. No, well, at least I don't have to worry about ammo. all around, Shayla's buzzing in the distance. Comrade Major? Yes? Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember? You can collect the canister now. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. So, what do you think about our birch tree, sugar? The one in the humongous glass thing? What about it? She's holding out for a hero, just like I do. Waiting for someone to save her from the biting cold. Oh, that's it. Enough. One deranged tin can is plenty for me. I knew you would stay loyal to me, handsome. Take off the glove, and we'll be together forever. Don't hold your breath. So, why is this birch tree so important? It's not important at all, Stud. You'll have to warm her up, 
But you can ignore her. She's a dumb tree. Nothing like me. Crispy critters. At least the tree doesn't talk. You would be lonely without me, sugar. Would I really? Smoking-related issues have been especially intense since the war, and Comrade Stalin just added fuel to the fire by making pipes look stylish. Now we've ended up with an unhealthy... Lunar Power Canister Connected. The tree, it's glowing. It's beautiful. The preliminary power generation phase has begun.
boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high-temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Okay, I found the opening. What do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? Crispy critters, that's the wrong door. Sure. Charles, who's singing? Never heard him before. I have no idea. This is a broadcast from the Academy of Consequences radio of the future. It could be anything. The future is vast. and responsibility so everybody could be like everybody else it's a good thing the pipes openings in the next room and not over by the birch tree now i just need to figure out how to put your damn thing on all set.
hell came up with all this shit? I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean, the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind. Mihailich, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. You want anything? Ah, don't do me any favors. I marched all the way to Berlin in my day. I can make it to the cafeteria. Thank you very much. Fading day. Come on. Just trying to help. You know all the mashed potatoes will be gone, and then I'll have to hear all about it. Yeah, go on. I'll catch up to you. Hell, I'll probably get there first. Whatever. These people. What? I'm not a man anymore because I lost my leg? I don't need nobody to bait it. I can get there myself without their... What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. Help! I don't want pity, I want respect, damn it! Hmm. I'll be running laps around you yet. Mark my words. This place looks like no one's been here in a decade. It could be due to a malfunction in the gravitational modulation system, or excessive polymer fertilizer production.
canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. What's that supposed to mean? It's hot. You're hot, huh? Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. Hey, you ought to try going to the Urals and be a steel worker. He's perhaps shit. That'd make a man of you, I tell you. But look at him. Instead, he's over there with his pretty flowers bitching about the heat. We crack talk. Don't give a goddamn about no heat. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. We'll hop right into an oven or a volcano at the drop of a hat. So don't come in for it to me, Blob. Once the update collected, everything will be hungry. What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science. An esteemed neurosurgeon. And one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague, Chariton Radionovich Zaharov, was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kinda cute. If someone starts bitching, they ain't worth shit. <laughs> Remember that illicit possession and dissemination of experimental data constitutes a crime against the Communist Party and is punishable by capital punishment. <clears throat> Please select the desired procedure.
There we go. Look at her bloom. What a beauty. Photosynthesis has begun. The tree's condition is improving rapidly. Attention, distribution center employees. Access to the right wing of the complex is now available. Something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars. The bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. But it must have been quite a while ago. At least a few days. How did you end up in the corridor? I was the first one they did in. Lab Tech 42 did it. I went to get some coffee, and it grabbed me by the neck, and snapped it, right here. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day, the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming, or dying, or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? All over the facility, I guess. I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. You seem pretty calm about this. Why shouldn't I be? I had my fill of screaming when it all went down. I freaked out, swore, saw terrified, dying people. Funny thing is, what scared them most wasn't the robots that were butchering them. It was seeing me dead and talking. But why do you think that is? Because it's a damn scary thing to be talking to a dead man. I mean, why I'm talking? I've no idea. I'm not even sure I'm happy about it. It doesn't matter anyway. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. It's got to be a mistake. What else could it be? Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3.
What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. Congratulations on your promotion, comrade Zolotukhin. Deputy Director of the Vavilov Complex is a very important position. Right now, our primary goal is to provide the Soviet people with sustenance, which requires great attention. But very, very soon, mankind's first steps into outer space will begin right here as well. As an outstanding botanist, you will be tasked with overseeing the creation of entire systems of plants designed to terraform the surfaces of other worlds. Comrade Sechinov and I had a talk earlier, and we're both delighted that you have joined our team. <laughs> you see, Vic, we do not just want to plant corn on the moon. We want to take a bite of a bigger apple on Mars. I've got a personal request for you, Vic. The Pavlov complex is in the middle of a big polymer study right now, and humdrum though it may seem, they're short of testing sites. Could you do me a favor and put a small department off in a remote wing somewhere? They just need to observe how animals behave in a polymer suit. It's top secret, of course, but just about everything in your complex is top secret, isn't it? Pavlov will start sending you the polymer in vats first. We'll build a pipeline just as soon as the Ministry of Finance approves it. Thank you in advance. Comrade Zalatuchin, my dear colleague, we haven't really had a chance to get acquainted yet, but I assure you, if you attend our theater under my guidance, you'll never forget the name Lastoshkin. I've got a little favor to ask you. Could you send us a few of those fascinating flowers of yours? The theater just isn't green enough, and it could use a little more exoticism if you catch my drift. A little bird told me you've got some creeping bushes now. I'd love to have a dozen of those to wow my VIPs with. I'll make it worth your while, of course. Sincerely yours, Stepan Lastoshkin. Finally, you cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say, you certainly took your sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no arm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to. I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. 
probably sort of spread throughout the vicinity at first so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right into the positions. What scared me most wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. It was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was, since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds. Very quickly. The robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks. Like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasi. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them. But he just had time to say, oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember was being dead. Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-cell plant life to livestock and other animals. That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium. God damn clusterfuck.
Who? Me? The computer mistook you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. Yeah, the handle's attached. Yes, it's much better. Opera is doing wonders for me. Definitely. So, on with my life. Day and... Hope I didn't get anything mixed up. Ah, yes. At first, it was extremely difficult for me not to pay any attention to this circle of life. But then I realized there's something in our form. Why do they need to invent an name like that? Their superiors think that propaganda increases product. It's spinning. I should do the trick. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop the video right here. Hope y'all enjoyed this section. Uh, yeah, it's getting interesting. It's crazy about them terraforming and everything, other planets. So, yeah, it's a pretty good story. Alright, so we will catch you all on the next one.